That was gigantic. <laughs> mm. You felt that crack? I love that crack. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. I felt release everywhere. Okay, great. So I have Ryan here today, and Ryan came in. You, you saw me originally, I guess, from Instagram, right? Instagram, yeah. Yeah, and he um, was a college football player at Cal Poly, California yeah. Poly. Go Tech. Stings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And congratulations, that must have been pretty cool. It was. And you played receiver. I did. And you took probably some bangs and... Lots of hits. Yeah. Lots of hits. Unfortunately, with the receiver, you probably take more hits than then give them out. A little right? bit. You try to do a little bit of both, right, but, that's but, but you do. You, yeah. take, you take a little more than you, than you give. Because you're <laughs> reaching up to get the ball and they have a shot at you. Absolutely. Right? You originally thought maybe you'd come in and get a full body adjustment, but you also have a lot of pressure across the bridge of your nose. Can right. you talk about that for a second? Yeah, so really came in, um, I'd say about six to eight months ago now. I started noticing a lot of pressure on the bridge of the nose and the temples and down into my jaw. So. Mm -hmm. You know, tried a little bit of everything, have uh, Invisalign, trying to work on that. And, and you also got helps. checked by every doctor, right? You, Pretty you much. did uh, MRI, you did... CT scans, yeah. I went to a neurologist to see if there's anything going on in, in here. Mm -hmm. um, obviously with the football background, everything checked out okay. So, you know, coming to you and, and seeing if you can help. Did you ever have any concussions that you know of? I did have a, a pretty severe concussion. I uh, was unconscious for about three or four minutes. Okay, that's that's really severe. I've, I've had uh, three concussions and they said I was out for like five seconds. I know. So <laughs> yeah. five seconds felt like a long time. Yeah. Uh, but three, four minutes is pretty intense. Was that in football or some it, other it way? It was. What happened? Do you remember? I, I do. Okay. So <laughs> Maybe you go, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. remember. Yeah, yeah, I was going across for a post, dove for the ball, and then actually um, collided with the knee um, I dove, my, the, my knee of my teammate hit my head, was out for about four or five minutes, woke up, the ambulance was actually coming onto the field. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I was out for a while. Had a seizure. Great. Oh wow, so that's a big deal. You also have, there, there's some other things. Uh, you also have a low back stuff. So he had something called a spondylo at L4, L5, which means, uh, and that happens to a lot of athletes. It happens to football players or people that do contact sports. It also happens to uh, gymnasts that tumble through the air and dismount, landing on their feet. So it's a type of compression which causes a front slippage of usually the lowest bone in the lower back. So L4, L5 is where he had his. And that caused, you were in a brace for a few months, Yeah, for right? about eight months. I yeah. wore a back brace just to stabilize it while I was doing any activities. Obviously, I had mm -hmm. to take a break from football at that time. Played after that, fortunately. I thought my career was over for a while, but was able to come back um, with the great help of our training staff. And you know, they really take me cool. up before games to make sure it didn't yeah. happen again. But, but yeah, it was, it was quite yeah, the journey. So that's another thing. <laughs> so we, we got some stuff to do. We're going to do a full body adjustment. We're definitely going to do some cranial facial release to see if we can start to opening that up for you and take away some of the pressure. And we'll, we'll see how far we can go in just today. Okay. All right, let's get cracking. Awesome. All right, this goes around your ankle. And you're going to reach out to here and put your hands on these handles, OK? So this is going to stretch your lower back. So when someone has a spondylo, we can't push straight into it, or we, we anteriorly displace it. Now, what's interesting about the lower back bones and the lumbars is that there's two ligaments that run alongside the front edge of the lumbars and one around the back edge. The back one is called the posterior Whoa. longitudinal ligament. And the front here, look at this. Whoa. Is that too much? No, that was great. It okay. already adjusted. Yeah, it already popped? <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. So this is the lower two bones, but along the whole front of the spine is the ALL, the anterior longitudinal ligament, which is much thicker than the posterior longitudinal ligament that goes on the posterior side. Therefore, vertebras rarely displace forward. Mm. When they miss a line, they were replaced Back. backwards. So it's really hard to get an anterior displacement. It would take that type of contact that you had as a football player. Right. That's such a crushing, intense compression that it pushes the bone through the anterior longitudinal ligament and still displaces it. So that's why it doesn't happen all the time and it needs that type of intensity to get that type of misalignment. Wow. And it's hard to, so we don't want to push it further in. So I can go above it, I can go below it, but I don't want to go into it. And there's ways to work with spondylos conservatively so that I can add to his low back uh, relief 
without making it worse. But you can feel some of these muscles Ooh. up in the traps, right? I sure can. Yeah, so this is really good. Ooh. And especially this left one. Do you feel the left one? Oh, I do. Yeah. That feels amazing. Oh, good. I want to check your shoulder, so I might change pace and have you pop up a second. Okay. So I'm going to just take this arm first. And it gets tight at the top here, do you feel? I do. When the doctor moves your arm, it's called passive range of motion. And that gets a little tight that direction too. When the patient moves their own arm, it's called active range of motion. So right now I'm passively, ooh, these are tight too. Does one side feel worse than the other sometimes? Uh, I would say the left side feels worse than yeah. the right. You side. try it now. So now you're gonna do the sideways one. And right about here, it doesn't want to go much Start further. Streaming. Do you agree? I do. Okay. So watch this. Watch me for a second. I'm going to stand in front of you. So this should come all the way up, right? And yours gets to about here and, and slows down. You could cheat, but we don't want you to. We want you to just... I mean, that's, as, that's about that's it. That's as far as we want to okay. go. Yeah. And then it kind of locks. Then do this side. About the mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can add to that range of motion, okay? Um, and the other thing here, stand up and uh, put your back to him. And we're pretty far away here, right? And now switch arms. And this he can finally work out touching it. Um, so let me see if I have a tape measure of some sort. So let's do it, tape measure. Let's do the bad side. Here, sorry to keep you there. We'll start it at 10, 10 inches and we'll see that it's eight inches apart, okay? The reason why is this is part of the measurement because this goes around like your bicep or your waist. So it's an eight inch deficit on that side, which is a lot. But let's do some stuff on his shoulders first and see if I can get a little bit of a change in one day. That would be nice, right? I would appreciate it. So this is his collarbone. That's the scapula pulling down on the humerus. And, but I really want to get in on this joint too, which is the AC joint, a chromium joint, and also where the humerus uh, meets the acromium process here. Now I'm going to pull down and give this a little space in here. And push that. Good. Next, I'm going to grab his collarbone. Sit up tall for a second. Good. Now we pick the arm up and work some soft tissue. But you feel this muscle under here, right? Mm -hmm. Here, spin a little bit. It's right under here. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting in the deltoid, but I'm also getting where the latissimus dorsi ties in here. And you keep pushing back against me a little bit. There you go. And now turn this way towards him. And you, you can feel that, right? It kind of hurts a little bit, right? Oh yeah, right? I can. Good, now I'm gonna stretch it back and back. Good. And I'm gonna keep working this chain here. Yeah, that's the good stuff. All right, good. Put the end here. Comes up a little higher already, right? It does. So now we're gonna come into here. I'm gonna adjust into the shoulder. So this stays on the outside just a little bit. <clears throat> you felt that crack? I love that crack. Good. Wow. Now sit on your chair again, if you don't mind, and try your shoulder yourself now. The, the sideways one that we just did. Wow. <laughs> Right? Let's wow. touch and do it again. That's pretty crazy. Wow. Do one more. Throw it up there. Good. Good. So there's more. That is very impressive. But that's just a couple of seconds, right? All right. Okay. Try it again. Not bad, right? It's great. Good. So let's do the other side now. 
You feel that too, right? That's pretty strong. Yeah, I do. There's other parts to this because I also like to do the pec minor and he's tight in there too. So we can do a little bit more, but it's nice to just start to, to change this. And then, you know, someone like him, he would benefit from coming more than once because he's got a whole, you know, 15 years of, since his playing days, right? Or 12 years yeah. maybe. And, um, and he's still in, is an athlete. He still works out all the time. He's still very athletic, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. Let me do this one now. And again, I'm under here. Like you could tell them. I mean, this is, hurts, right? It, it, it does. <laughs> yeah, because I'm digging out horrible muscle knots mm -hmm. in here. What and is that? Never, we never yeah. touch. Yeah. Who would ever want to let <laughs> someone put their thumb here? Look back around here. Thumb into the armpit. And at the same time, I'm like. Almost like a wrestling move, I'm driving into you. This side. <laughs> Once again. Yeah. Wow. Now let's have you lie on your back. We're going to do two other things. You're going to do the same thing again, but I'll do the other side. I don't know if this one will crack, but... Because I didn't feel a crack in it, but let's try. Yeah, that didn't crack. Now you're going to lie on your side facing this wall, and I'm going to come into here, so really lie on your side if you can. And I'm gonna just do a little bit more work on here, and this is not pleasant, but it's really good. And you feel that one, right? Oh yeah. Right in there. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Good. Now switch sides. I know it hurts, but don't you feel like we're getting stuff I, done? I don't mind the pain as long as I keep seeing those results you just showed. Yeah. Okay, right. Ooh, that's horrible right there. This is I think this side in oh. some ways was harder to get through. Okay. So now Come stand up, and it's flinging up there, right? That's easy. Yeah. Yeah. And then do the other side. Both. There's no way I could touch yeah. my bicep to my head. So stand up and turn around, and do the. Uh, I didn't really work on this directly, but let's do this one. I, mean, I could at least turn my wrist now. Yeah, three inches off. So we three and a half inches. So we we gained. Um, Maybe four. So we, we cut that in half. We got a 50% improvement in 15 minutes um, of something that's probably been stuck like that for years. Years. So there's more stuff to do. Like we're just, we could just spend time with him. So let's just keep going. And I'm gonna add to holding his lumbars so that the stretcher pulls away the lumbar. So the next thing we're gonna do is um, have you turn on your back. So you're gonna be face up. Oh, you're tied up. Try to do this first. Okay, turn on your back. All right, so I'm gonna wrap you up this way. Big breath in and blow it out. One more big breath in. There it is. There we go. There we go. All right, let's do this. Let's have you, do you ever lie on your side and twist? Or do. do you like that? I do. Okay, so we're gonna do one, but not. we're not gonna push into L4, L5. We're gonna do above it. Okay. So lie on your side facing me. There it does. Easy, right? Very easy. Yeah, so I'm gonna reach above. Good, perfect. So now um, lie on your back. I'm still curious if we can get another inch out of your, your shoulder rotation today. So the other spot was the pec minor. So I'm on this pec minor right here and you'll feel that trigger point too, right? 
Mm -hmm. Sure do. Part of me doesn't want to quit yet on those shoulders. I'm just competitive with myself. <laughs> Wondering if we could get a little bit more today. That's me squeaking my, it wasn't him. <laughs> my, my butt squeaked against the table. All right, so come stand. Oh, I we're close to touching. We're touching. <laughs> See, not bad for today. I mean, that's yeah. night and day. And now turn around one more time and touch your fingers. So this side. That side, right. and it's even easier. That's yeah. Right. And I'm just showing you, I'm pulling a little bit, but but it's so much different than when we started. Okay, so next I'm gonna have you sit here. Tilt a little bit. Oh. <laughs> that was gigantic. <laughs> oh man, wow. Been needing that for like five years. Ooh. Turn your head this way. Here's the other <laughs> side. Thank you. Thank you. Good. So next, uh, we're gonna do the CFR, okay? So lie on your back. We've done some good <laughs> stuff today though, right? Great stuff, great stuff. I'm excited. Very happy. I love how receptive you are. You're like, yeah, let's do it, let's get it done. So the way we do this is I'm gonna put this in, we'll start with the right side. In your case, it doesn't matter. Sometimes people have one side that's worse than the other and we start in the easier of the two sides. But in your case, they're kind of both about the same because you have that general pressure across your whole bridge of your nose. Absolutely. As opposed to sometimes people go, it's only my right side. They really know that. So I'm gonna put the balloon in. Once I put the balloon in, we'll start with the right. I'll say take a big breath in and hold and it looks like this. <gasps> Try it. That's it. And that's, right. that's as simple as that. Ooh. Big breath in and close. Oh, yeah. What did you feel? Wow. I felt release everywhere. Both ears, behind here, mm -hmm. my entire face, even into my jaws. That was an intense feeling. Take a breath in now through your nose. Whew. And it just released again, taking that breath. Wow. You mean you felt more separation? Yeah, and it, it popped again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. So that's a good start. That's just the first side. Now we're going to do the other side. Are you ready? I'm, I'm game. All right, good. That was one of the coolest feelings I've felt in years. All right, good. You needed this today. Wow. All right, so we're going to do the other side next. Can't get me crying on there. <laughs> no, no. It's not, I mean, we get hit in the nose, our eyes tear. You know, every, anyone who's ever been hit in the face knows their eyes tear instantly. Big breath in and close. <laughs> oh, yeah, just as good. It's not better. Wow. Did you hear cracking or what did you I, notice? I heard, I heard cracking everywhere. My face, both felt like the pressure just released, kind of like an airplane. <laughs> when your ears pop, I yeah. had that in both ears and just all that pressure in here is released. If you could do the sound effect, what would the sound be like? Was it like... Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, did it make noises? it's crackles. It's like, crackles. It's it. almost like a... Can you do it? All throughout here and in my ears. Yeah. And, wow, this is completely... Oh, thank you. Ah, thank you. Good stuff. I'm so glad you did this today. Me too. Thanks for watching this with Ryan today. He's uh, been an intense athlete throughout his life, and he needed some release. Uh, leave him a nice comment, and um, thanks for watching. Oh, we're close to touching. We're touching. <laughs> See, not bad for today.